hi guys and welcome back to my channel so i'm going to start off with applying aloe vera gel onto my face this works as a nice primer for me and keeps my face flawless i'm going to use pure beige as a base for my eyeshadows then i'm going to set that with um, neutral lights by black opal i'm going to be using the 3502 palette by morphe and i'm going to pick up that color there and just start applying this with a fluffy brush into my crease and this is just a transition color i'm going to go in with that ready orangey color and apply that onto my crease as well just to create dimension and this color is extremely pigmented you guys should get this palette Okay, so using that same pure beige concealer, I'm going to place down my lids and look up. This is just going to cut my crease for me. And then I'm just going to follow um, my crease and cut it with the concealer. on to remove any excess um, concealer. I'm going to spray my brush with the NYX. If it's not matte then it's the dewy one. I'm just spraying that onto my brush so it can pick up the product nicely. And I went in with a golden kind of shimmery shade. I forgot it but it's in the 3502 palette. Um, so yes, yeah, so I applied this onto my lid and as you can see it's applying nicely. And I did this to the second lid as well. So going in with that kind of browny color, I'm just going to um, place that in between the crease and the uh, and the color that you can see there. So this is gonna act as a nice gradient from bright to dark, as you can see. So I'm just gonna—I don't know why I did this, but I just. Oh, it makes it look a little neat so i went in with i think this is called coffee by um la girl pro concealer but this is the foundation i'm using so i apply that all over my face this foundation is really smooth it just glides on and i think it's it, it looks full coverage to me but yeah so i went in with phone and i placed that uh, and placed that to my face and just highlighted as i always do and blend, I just, as you can see, I'm blending it in with the Beauty. Oh, I haven't done makeup in a while. I forgot all the names to this. But yeah, the Beauty Sponge with the Beauty Blender. And then I went in with Neutral Light by Black Opal. And I'm applying this to my face. This isn't, you know, new. You guys, you guys know this. I've just changed um, products. So, yes. So I'm going to blend that in with a big blending brush using Dark Deep by MAC. Now using a sweet contour palette in there, I'm going to use the first color to contour. So I'm going in with Cheeky Bronze, which is a highlighter by MAC. Um, it's, it's a nice, you know, it's a nice um, highlighter. It's very natural. So if you like a natural highlighter, definitely go for this kind of highlighter. So going in with my NYX base in Milk, I'm going to line my waterline. And this was really messy. I'm, I'm literally rubbish at anything got to do with eyeliner or or lining out your water i'm so bad at it and yeah it just it, it looked really messy so going in with the ultra tech um, mascara by kiko i'm just gonna um coat my lashes with their mascara I'm gonna coat my bottom lashes as well as you guys can see and lining my lips i'm using limbo by colourpop 
and I'm going to fill in my lips with creme brulee by NYX and it's one of their butter glosses I believe so this is the finished look guys hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like subscribe do everything thumbs up this video all the information will be down below and thanks for watching